hello friends myself Ravi and welcome to my channel in the last tutorial we have seen how we can create forms and then apply validation on it in this tutorial we will see how we can submit the form and make a post request to save the form data so what we will do here we will post our form data and save the data into the fake json server that we had created if you haven't watched my fake json data creation video i will put the link in description please do go through it and then come to this video then it will be uh, pretty helpful for you if you see i had created a fake api of this uh, employee list this is giving me this list of employee right it has fields as id name address and city uh, so what we will do here we will invoke a post request from our ui and hit this server to add one more employee object here okay so let's go to our vs code and try to implement it so we have created all the forms here if you see and on click of this submit button we should invoke this post request to save the form to the json server right so what we will do we will write a service to make a post request okay so let's go to our this employee component and if you see here we had created one service right to get all the employees similarly we will create one method let's name it as post employee data right okay and this thing will remain same right the URL will remain same let's return So uh, when we are trying to make the get request, we had imported this HTTP client here. We had created one instance of HTTP client, means one object of HTTP client and injected it into the constructor. And this HTTP client has all the CRUD methods like get, put, post, delete. Okay. So what we are doing here, we are returning this dot the object of http client which is http and this will have if you see all the crud methods right in this tutorial we are trying to post the form data so we will call this post method and in the post we will enter the url okay and also we need to pass the employee object also right so what we will do here we will name one parameter here let's name it as query and give the type as employee right and let's pass query here okay now we have written this service method which is post employee data to post the data to the json server right we will go to our reactive form.ts first of all let's inject employee service here so let's add private employee service let's add employee service okay and let's add one more method here let's name it as save employee okay In this method, what we will do, 
let's call the post method which is this dot employee service dot post employee data right and this will have this object which is this dot reactive form right so this is the object that we will pass here this dot reactive form okay and dot subscribe let's give the response okay let's log success and if any error occurs then let's log error here okay so let's go to our ui now let's enter id as 3 let's enter name as smith let's enter address as london city also put it as london and now let's open the inspect tab and console and let's try to submit this data so you can see we have submitted this data uh, we forget to call this save employee on the submit button okay so let's call this method here okay so if you see here on this button click we are basically calling that on submit method if you see here this on submit method is invoked when the button is clicked right so on the submit of that method we need to call this save employee method okay now let's go to our ui and let's enter three name smith enter address as london 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 and then click on submit so if you see uh, we are getting this error it means uh, we have done something wrong right so what we have done here we need to make this ID input field as number so give the type as number so the type of ID we have changed now let's add three name as smith let's give address as london and city as london two now try to submit we are still getting error let's go to our code here and here what we will do we will pass this reactive form dot value from here Okay. now let's go to our UI give ID as 5 name as Ravi address Bangalore city also be there 
and now click on submit so you can see right this is submitted and it is success right it's giving the success message that means our data has been submitted and in order to verify this let's go to our this localhost 3000 slash employee list the json server right now we have here four rows of data four employee objects now let's refresh it you can see this one object that we have entered right now it is added here right so this is how you can post your form data and make a post api call to save the data right using this json server if you haven't watched the json server video please uh, find the link in the description and please do watch the video and then again try to implement it by yourself that's it for this video if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe my channel